Right, very good team cohesion, excellent club atmosphere, excellent managerial support. We're looking good. Right, one more game in a Champions League final, just one more win. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hexagon Challenge here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and today it is the second league of the Champions League semi-final against Liverpool. We take a 1-0 lead to the Parc de Plintz after yesterday's episode which if you have not checked out I will leave a link to in the top right corner. Pretty important that you watch that one to be fair and it does lead into today's episode which if you are looking forward to remember to go down below leave a thumbs up on the video and also hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on if you are wanting to keep up to date with the series. We are oh so close to a UEFA Champions League. Now you can almost taste it, but we've got this job to do, and then we'll see which team out of Porto or Juventus we will be playing in the final Juventus with a 2-0 lead after their home league going into the second league at Porto. But we have had one game since yesterday's episode to catch you guys up on. We have not clinched the league our title yet because of it, but we did keep our firm grip on it with us now only needing one point from our remaining three games to win the title after a 2-0 win for the rotation team at near bottom placed Mets. Rodrigo Mercado kept up a pretty nice little run of form since he got into this rotation team in the 14th minute. Long ball forward from and he buried that in the bottom left corner just inside the near post to be fair to make it 1-0. And then in the second half, Doku making his way down the right hand side. Good dribbling from him. He puts the ball in the mixer. Jesus Morello is able to get his foot on it at the far post, beat the goalkeeper just inside, and we get a nice 2 0 win. 15 shots to 5, 6 on target to 2. Not our most dominant performance, it's fair to say, but for the rotation team, we will be happy with that, resting a lot of our main bodies leading into the second Champions League semi final league. As we have a quick look at the Mets ratings, they didn't really fire a shot, it's fair to say, a few shots, but on the whole, we did thoroughly dominate that game. So, Jesus Morello's got a little bit of a niggle, so he will not be featuring today. But Rasid Cedra is back, albeit he cannot start. So it's going to be Doku making his way into the first team and Cedra coming on to the bench. But otherwise, everyone else is there. And hopefully, we can pick up a good result like we have been doing in these home legs so far in the Champions League knockout stages. And we can make our way to Old Trafford for a Champions League final. We will be back shortly with team sheets and the game from the Parc de Plintz. So here are the team sheets. As we said, Doku, Infamorello and Cedra back on the bench. Otherwise, we are exactly the same as we lined up in that first league at Anfield. Liverpool are missing Marino after his red card yesterday, but otherwise looking fairly similar with Kulisevsky coming onto the first 11 for him. But otherwise, they look very similar as well. So it's pretty much the same sort of thing as we saw in yesterday's episode and hopefully we can pick up a similar result to make our way into the final. And Liverpool have changed their formation slightly, a 4-2-3-1. They were going with the 4-3-3 when we met them in the first league, so they have changed things up a little bit, which is interesting to see. They are in the all red yet again, we're in the blue with the red down the middle and they are kicking off playing left to right and hopefully we can keep them out again or at the very least score a couple of the goals. Of course, we do have that away goal from yesterday's leg, so hopefully we can keep the advantage from that as it is nil all early doors, although we do have a throw-in, which we will get possession or keep possession from. And yeah, Felix down the left-hand side makes his way forward towards the box. He has a cross, which is blocked, but it falls to Ruggieri. We briefly keep possession, although Liverpool do intercept it. They boot it long, but Tadebo ties it up, and we look to play out from the back. If we can get a good start here, it would be nice. And Hopefully a few more highlights than yesterday because that was a um, rather dull episode. Doku with a shot there just over the bar and it is still nil all after five minutes. Ten minutes gone here and as a goal kick to PSG. We pump it, I was going to say long, but I see you said let's go, it kind of is, but it goes to our midfield and we keep position. Long, fall, long ball trying to find Mbappe, but Liverpool cut it out. It's now Kulisewski making his way forward. Sancho. Also driving in field, although it's a ball that doesn't find the target and we get possession back. Felix, a little bit of a messy pass, but Ruggieri tidies things up for us. Long ball forward. Garcia cuts it out. They've got two Garcias, of course, so can't tell you which one, but Liverpool did cut possession. And now 
It's a bit messy, this highlight at the moment, but all good slide tackle there from Felix, and we get possession back. Marie Brewery on a yellow, plays the ball forward, and Bape somehow gets on the end of that, past the defender, and we get our goal early, 2-0, and it's looking very good. That's a great start, just what we were after. Looked like a pretty innocuous highlight there for a while, but the ball from Ruggieri after the slide tackle from Felix, it goes up. He, it was, in fact, um, Marie with the ball, sorry, Ruggieri with one prior, and Bape's just able to control that under pressure from the defender get outside him, rolls it past Ramsdale into the bottom right corner, and we're one the lap after 10 minutes. 14 minutes gone, free kick for Liverpool, they put in the mixer, headed backwards it looked like, I'm not sure if it was by us or by Liverpool, and now Doku gets on the end of this, and it could be another highlight for us here. Doku drives forwards, good slide tackle from the Liverpool defender though, Stockbridge in fact, so I think he's an attacker, and it will go out for a corner, but we're looking dangerous early on as we put the corner in. Tadebo with the header, and it's a nice save there from Ramsdale to put it over the net, but we are on top of them early with a 1-0 lead on the day and 2-0 on aggregate. Another corner, Tadebo heads it high and wide, and it remains 1-0 after 15 minutes. 21st minute, it's a throw-in for PSG, Bakar to Doku, and back to Bakar, and we look to pick up a second, which would certainly put us in a good position. Ball back from uh, Medina, not Mbappe. Tries to put a ball in the mixer, but it's cut out now, Mariba on it for us as we do keep possession. Baka for Vidoku over to Mbappe. Oh, wrong foot's the keeper. 2-0 Mbappe is on a tear. That is his third goal of this tie, of course. As Doku slots Mbappe in here. It's a wonderful goal. Ramsdale just got wrong footed there. And we go 2-0 up after 21 minutes. It's looking very good for us here. Another highlight in the 23rd minute. And just like the first one after the first goal for us, it's again Liverpool on the ball from a free kick or Sancho in a good amount of space. But the shot straight at C.U. Celescu. And for now, it remains 2-0. Although Liverpool are on the attack. They put a ball in the mixer. And luckily, C.U. Celescu claims that corner. It remains 2-0 on the day. 3-0 on aggregate. Free kick for PSG here in the 33rd minute. If we can get another here, it's all looking good for us. Doku played in. But a shot straight at Ramsdale. Good chance for us, but still 2-0, but 3-0 on aggregate. Corner in the 36th minute. Doku to put this in the mixer. We put it into Debo for header. It's in. It's beaten Ramsdale just inside that far post. And we go 3-0 up at the 37-minute mark. And Liverpool have a ton to do here. We have one foot firmly in the door of the Champions League final. That's a wonderful header from Tadebo just inside that far post. Doku with the corner this time. And we are well and truly on top of them here. 3-0 in the first half of the second leg. And 4-0 with that away goal from the first leg at Anfield. And we are looking very, very good here. As Liverpool kick off the second half and give possession to us. And Bape after his hat trick just holds the ball up there briefly back for Felix. Just outside the box. Ruggeri and Bape hits the post. Great chance for his hat trick there. He wasn't offside either. I thought he just might be. Boy, oh boy, we are well on top of Liverpool here. 3-0. Late in the second half as they have a free kick. Liverpool, Sancho on the ball. But we do intercept possession and it remains 3-0 for now. 41 minutes gone here in Liverpool off the back of one of our goals. Yet again, have a highlight, a throw in which we do clear away. But Garcia tidies it up for them. But yeah, they need to strike soon. Or that's a good ball for Kulisevsky. Has a crack. It forces a very good save out of C.U. Silescu. And it still hit the post. Not sure if he actually got his hand on it. That is a free kick which Ruggieri gives away. We will watch this as we are shown the highlight of this free kick. Sancho to put it in the mixer. And Siu Silescu claims it. And it does remain 3-0 as we approach halftime. And indeed we get to halftime. Look, that is about as perfect a first half as we could have hoped for in the second leg. After that 1-0 lead in a scrappy first leg at Anfield, we have got three goals in this half. Two to Mbappe and then a header from Tadebo to give us a 4-0 lead on aggregate. Liverpool with a couple of shots, one of them hitting the woodwork, but on the whole we have looked a far more threatening team, and that will take a fair bit of a bottle job from here for us not to be making the Champions League final. We'll tell the boys to keep on doing what they're doing, and we'll crack into the second half. 47th minute, and we have an early free kick in the second half. Medita puts it into the mixer, headed away from Rib 1, but we do keep possession through to Diva, and we might look to continue pulling the misery on Liverpool. Mariba down. For Felix, very good save that. Good shot going for the bottom right corner, but Ramsdale keeps it out. It will go out for a corner, though, but that was a very good early chance for us. Only a good save from Ramsdale keeps the scores at 3-0. 
and the corner is cleared away, so it remains that way early in the second half. Okay, 51 minutes gone here, and we are looking at bringing Mariba off. He is on a yellow card and is down to a yellow heart, and with the score at 4-0 on an aggregate, I think we can afford to be making a substitution here. It's the usual substitution for Mariba. We will be bringing SMS on for him. Tell him not to ease off tackles, and we'll continue in the second half. 3 nil up and 4 nil up on aggregate. Highlight for Liverpool straight off the back of that substitution. It's corner. Sancho puts it in. We hit it away. But Kulisevsky ties things up for the Reds. Alexander-Arnold. Uh, it's a tackle from SMS. And they will have a free kick here. And it will be Bitqui who puts in the mix. A good effort. That free kick. It was going top right corner. Forces a good save. Our CU Celescu this time. So... Already some good saves from both goalkeepers to start the second half. They have a corner. We hit it away. And it will remain 3-0. Is now we have a free kick. Medina with a very good effort. Caught out there a little bit, I have to say. And it forces another good save out of Ramsdale. So, so far in the second half, the goalkeeper's really stepping up. SMS gets his corner to find Tadebo, But this time straight at Ramsdale. And it remains... 3-0, but we will make a sub here because Argeri is only on a 6.5. We've got a few substitutions in hand still, so we'll make a change here. We will bring Jose Acosta on for Argeri just to see if he can improve things a bit, but it's still looking pretty good for us. 3-0 up, 4-0 on aggregate as we approach the hour mark. 64th minute, a throw in to Liverpool. Arnold, his ball just intercepted briefly, but they do get possession back here. Do Liverpool, rib one over to Sancho Ball. Over the top, Alexander Arnold in a lot of space here, which is dangerous. Could pull a dangerous ball in here. Bikwi has a crack. It's a deflection. Hits the post, and Gian Wan gets one back for Liverpool. That's the away goal that eliminates ours, but we've still got a free goal advantage, and I can't see them bringing that back, but it does give them a bit of hope. The shot here from Bikwi, it's a horror of a name. I think it deflects off Sancho. The goalkeeper's left in no man's land. It hits the post. Gian Wan there with a tap in. So they've got a goal back, but we are still three goals ahead of them as we'll check for offsides. Not sure if this one should have any impact on it. It's probably this one here. And yeah, nothing doing there. 3-1, but 4-1 on aggregate at the 66-minute mark. Right, off the back of that goal, we now have Zhao Felix on a yellow card and a yellow heart. So I think we're going to take this opportunity to bring Rasid Sidra back into the mix, coming back from that injury quality player. Get some match fitness under his belt. And we'll carry on with the second half. 3-1 up, but 4-1 on aggregate. 87 minutes gone, and we have a free kick. We have slowed the tempo down just to make sure that Liverpool can't get back into this because we know they're a team who does have that in them. We've also picked up a few yellow cards, got players easing off tackles, but we're on the attack here. Acosta in the box. Bakar with a shot, hits the post. Oh boy, that would have certainly sealed it. That would have been a wonderful goal, but it remains 3-1, 4-1 on aggregate, but we're entering injury time. And we are now very deep in this game. Liverpool with a throw-in in the 92nd minute. I think we can safely say we will be in the Champions League finals. We look to close this game out. We get possession back. A half minute to go. Cedro with a long ball. Mbappe gets past his man. Past the goalkeeper. And he picks up his hat-trick at Killian Mbappe. That came out of absolutely nowhere. It has to be said. It looked like a Liverpool highlight. And right on the brink of full time. Killian Mbappe picks up a hat-trick. Liverpool trying to press forward. Ruggeri with the header for to Cedra. Mbappe gets there before the defender. Not a great slide tackle in Ramsdale. Yeah, his defenders have let him down there. Mbappe just rolls that into the net for his hat trick. We are up to 93 minutes. It is time to party, ladies and gentlemen. We will be having a Champions League final for you guys tomorrow. We might even have to bust out the face cam in the suit for that one, I think, because while the other Champions Leagues we've won so far have been good, this is the UEFA Champions League and it's a big one. So we might have to go a bit special for it. The full-time whistle is blown. 4-1 on the day. 5-1 on aggregate. Liverpool getting a goal back in the 65th minute of the second leg. But Mbappe with a hat-trick. And Tadebo with a header late in the first half. And we win it fairly comfortably. 22 shots to 8. 11 on target to 4. A very good performance yet again in the home league. And we will now find out who we will be taking on in the Champions League final at Old Trafford tomorrow. Okay, so a very good performance from our boys in that game as we have another look at the quarterfinals just to keep the suspense up. Of course, it was Juventus and Porto. It was 2-0. Juventus after the first leg 
And if we make our way forward to the semi-finals, you will see that Porto did win the second leg at home 2-1. But because of the 2-0 result in the first leg, it is Juventus going through that away goal, proving oh so crucial for the Serie A Giants. So tomorrow in the Champions League final of 2030, it will be us at Paris Saint-Germain against Juventus. They haven't won the competition for a very long time, I believe, if we go to the inbox item. 1996, the last time they won. And of course, Liverpool, the current holders who we knocked out. They're only in second in Serie A at the moment, are Juventus. They're in a bit of a dogfight with Roma for the title. So they're going to have to invest a fair bit of effort just to try and win the domestic title. Whereas we now are at a point, if we show you guys our table, where we do only need one more point. So whether it's us winning the next game or drawing the next game, or even Marseille or Monaco slipping up, we can take it pretty easy in League A from now on. And because of that, as I said, I think we'll just breeze through the rest of the League A games off camera leading into tomorrow's episode. They are against Lorient, Monaco and Reims. So two of those games, not big. Monaco could have been a big game, but we hopefully will have the title wrapped up by then. We have done a fair few Monaco games this season. So I think we'll breeze by those and give you guys no doubt what you're after tomorrow in a Champions League final against Juventus. And as I said, might even bust out the face cam and the suit for that one. But yeah, a very good home league win for us yet again. We've been banking on those home league wins in this Champions League knockout stage. And it has got us through to a final at a neutral venue. Hopefully we can pull out a type of performance we've been pulling out in the home leagues in that final at Old Trafford. But that will do for today's episode. We're pretty much on the brink of winning league. Oh, hopefully it will be done very shortly on my end. And yet, as I said, we can rest some players and hopefully get a few more bodies back going into that huge game tomorrow where we try and pick up our third Champions League of this Hexagon Challenge, the biggest of them all, the UEFA Champions League, and try and get halfway through the challenge and hopefully to a point where if we won tomorrow's final, we could breeze through the rest of it fairly easily. Hopefully we'd be able to get some pretty nice jobs when we do go to the other continents after this one. But yeah, Champions League final tomorrow. Hopefully you are looking forward to it because I know that I certainly am. If you are looking forward to it and enjoyed today's episode, I hope you did because I did, then please remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you are new around here, and want to be informed when that Champions League final does drop. Also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell as well. But until then, a huge episode, Old Trafford Champions League final against Juventus. We'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.